Welcome back to Primetime News. Special welcome to those of you watching on OneSpotMedia.com. We begin this evening with a Primetime News follow-up. The security forces are reporting more success in their pursuit of the gangsters involved in the deadly attack in Walkers Avenue, St. Catherine, last week. The incident left close to 50 people homeless and one man dead. Dwayne Anderson has details. The Prime Minister warned the triggermen and arsonists from the Gregory Park incident the security forces would deal with them in a special way. And within days of his comment and the attack, the thugs suspected of involvement in the crime are feeling the heat. A pre-dawn operation was carried out in the area on Wednesday. It involved the police and military and was intended to capture the persons of interest in the case. At the end of the operation, we can report that some 18 persons were taken in custody. Of the 18 persons, two were charged for illegal possession of firearm, as two illegal firearms were seized during the operations. They also have three of the persons who were named as persons of interest in relationship to the fire incident. They are now in police custody and the investigation will continue. There are some others that they are now in interviewing and carrying out some activities to determine who these individuals are. The police say, while they understand that members of the public want quick results in relation to the attack, which the government has labeled as terrorism, it will take time, as close to 20 persons may have been involved, and it will take time to track them down and build cases against them. Police detectives say they too expect to learn some more about crime fighting from this case. We're seeing where this use of fire, fire bombing, is something that we are assessing to see why they have chosen that as part of their attack on, on the innocent people and on attack on co communities. So it's something that from adjacent, not just in this division, something that investigators are looking at and we're trying to assess and to ascertain you know, why they're choosing this route. A curfew was announced for the area. The police commanders say snap raids are also ongoing. As for the traumatized victims. We know we have different aspects of the division that's out there. We have persons from the community safety and security department. They are working with the other agencies of government and NGOs that are trying to work with the victims to see how best they can get them back on track and to get their lives back to normalcy. There's some concern about the children who were affected and their support um, happening on the road. The leadership of the St. Catherine South Police Division in the meantime indicated there are 25 criminal gangs in the space. At least 16 are active, so they are busy trying to eliminate their activities. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News.